Good afternoon, Brian. You mentioned the rising case numbers. We've also been testing quite a bit more. I think even more concerning is the rising number of hospitalizations and just how full our hospitals are getting. And we're hearing today that over 50% of those in the hospital are under the age of 60, which means this expanded eligibility, getting more and more people vaccinated is more important now than never. And Governor Whitman and her daughter were not alone. There were seven Metro Detroit teens who volunteered to serve as Protect Michigan Commission COVID-19 student ambassadors. The aim to encourage encourage their peers to get vaccinated as well. So this morning they received their very first shot of the Pfizer vaccine. Some student athletes, some on the honor roll from schools from Shelby Township to Novi to Detroit and Birmingham. And in many cases today we saw vaccinations were a family affair. Governor Gretchen Whitmer brought her 19 year old daughter Sherry with her today. Both of them receiving their first shot and she's encouraging other parents to make vaccines a family affair as well. In Michigan, over 4.7 million doses have been administered to almost 3 million Michiganders. There is light at the end of this tunnel, but we are sober about the fact that we are still very much in the tunnel. We know that the Pfizer vaccine, which is manufactured right here in Michigan, is available to Michiganders ages 16 to 18. And to parents, my fellow parents across the state, I encourage you to bring your high schoolers, or college age students with you, like I did today, um, to get vaccinated, especially if they are in that 16 to 17 year old range. Because we know what the spread looks like right now. And it's really crucial that as parents, we not just model, but we help our kids to, to be safe as well. At this point, the Pfizer vaccine is approved for kids ages 16 and 17. The other vaccines for 18 and up. And right here in Ford Field, in just the first two weeks, we're hearing from Meyer 70,000 people have been vaccinated so far. Many more on the list. And if you need to get your name on that list, of course, go to our website at WXYZ.com. We've got more information there. Reporting live at Ford Field, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7